Since I last talked to y'all about books, I read these six books. First book I read was Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. It's a story of four generations of Koreans, many of whom live in Japan. It was really great and I learned a lot about Korean and Japanese culture and especially racism faced by Koreans living in Japan. For the most part, I really, really liked the writing and the characters, but the ending was lackluster. Like the rest of the book was so good, but near the end I was like, why is this character here and what are they adding to the story? Both had unsatisfying answers. Nextly, I read A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin. It follows a young, up-and-coming, powerful wizard named Ged who fucks up trying to show off and has to deal with the consequences. There's sailing, dragons, adventures, and a really cool concept of magic where the real name of things really matters a lot. Of course, then I read the next book in the series, The Tombs of Atuan. It starts out with a girl who's basically been selected to be the leader of a cult. She alone has access to a pitch black underground labyrinth and somehow runs into a wizard and adventure ensues. I also really liked this one. It was shorter than most of the others, but it was really contained as a story. Next was The Farthest Shore where Ged learns about a blight of magic that's traveling across the land. The world and its people are forgetting how to do magic, they're losing the words. So Ged and a young companion travel to the ends of Earthsea to investigate and see what they can do about it. It's probably my least favorite in the series, but that's not to say it wasn't fantastic. Thenly, there was Tahanu, the last in this series and a really unique addition to the story. This time, we're following an older version of that girl in the labyrinth who's been widowed and has adopted a girl who's been badly burnt. It's a really great story and it doesn't focus much on grand magical exploits but it has womanhood, love, interpersonal relationships, and coping with tragedies that you can't will or magic away. And I think it was my favorite in the series. Lastly, I read Watership Down by Richard Adams. Ostensibly, it's just a book about rabbits that can speak. Like, even in the intro, he's like, this is just a book about rabbits, guys. Nothing else. I wrote it for my kids in a car, right? But I don't even buy it for a second. It's a dang old war story. They're always on the run and they're always getting fucked up over here and they're always getting fucked up over there. I really wanted to like it, but I just didn't ever really get into it, even though I listened to like 15 out of 20 hours of it. One thing I didn't like is that the does, or women rabbits, have really no place or impact in the book. Like they're basically just treasure that has to be looted from other rabbits. And like I think he would just try to say, well that's just how rabbits are. But if you can give a personality to 15 male rabbits, you can probably give a personality to like some female rabbits. I think, or rather speculate, that the dude really wanted to write about World War II, but didn't want to admit it and was also a sexist. What do y'all read lately and what should I read next?